Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I want to show you something really cool that I'm not sure you know you can do in Canva. Did you know that you can actually draw? You can use your phone or you can use a touchscreen computer and you can draw in Canva. You can personalize anything you want this way. Today I'm just gonna make a really quick little Valentine's Day card and show you how you can draw on it to personalize it. This would be great to do um, from your kids so that it can be personalized and then you can email it out to mom or their friends or whatever they want. Okay, so here I am. I am on the homepage of Canva. I'm just gonna hit create a design and we'll type in card and we'll make this um, a five by seven portrait up and down card. So I just have this blank design going on here. Now, as soon as we put that we were making a card, um, Canva is gonna give us some templates already. Um, these are great templates. You can absolutely use them, but I kinda wanna just create my own little fun cards. So I'm gonna hit up elements over here and I've already searched this out, but let me show you what I did. I just put retro Valentine's in my search, and then um, I pulled up just the graphics, and I got all of these cute little elements. And so, let's see. I want some sort of a banner at the top, and I know I want one of these dancing heart Fellows. I like this guy. He's good. All right. And I love this because as soon as you see these boxes pop up here, then you know you can change their colors. You can completely customize the colors of this document. Okay, what else are we going to get? I'm still looking for a banner to go across the top. I like this as well. These are not exactly the same colors of red, so I'll go and fix that in a minute because I have those boxes. I can change that. Hmm, a banner for the top. That is the last thing I need. Okay, we'll use this one here, these little hearts. And again, they've got the colors, so we can customize them. I'm gonna increase the size of this document so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to pull this over here and I'm just going to grab its handle and drag it until it extends the full width of the page. If you want, you can click this little arrow and it will close that out of your way so that you have more design room on your page. Okay, so those are there. We need to change some colors around. I want this red to be this red. So I'm going to click my design here. I'm going to click the red color. All of the colors in my document are displayed right here. So I'm wanting to change this red to this one. It's that guy right there. If I just click that, it will change its color. So now you can see if I drag this over, those are the same color red. And I wanna do that with these hearts as well. So let me click into the hearts. I wanna take this and make it the same red that the others have been. So I'll click that and those hearts will change. And then I want to change these up a little bit too. There's a pink in here, so let's match that. It's going to be this pink. And then let's make this maybe, um, that's good, okay. So now if I bring this down, all of our colors are matching. I'm going to rotate this guy here and shrink him down just kind of throw them up here. This is just a simple little card, not meant to be anything extravagant, but I'm leaving this white space so we can draw on it. Okay, so now I'm going to increase the size of my screen. I'm gonna get this available white space here. And then if you come over here and you click draw, you're gonna get these options. You've got a fine point pen, um, a chiseled, marker and a regular marker, and then you've got your eraser. So I'm gonna use the fine point pen. I'm gonna select that one. And I'm going to change the color of the ink to black. And if you click here, you can change the weight of your pen. Right now it's super thin, but I can bring it up and make it really thick, or I can bring it even thinner 
I want to leave it at that too. I think that was a pretty good weight for the pen for what I want to do with it. And I can change the transparency. I can leave it completely um, full where you can see the color or you can drop down the transparency. Okay, the pen is selected. It's black. I can see the uh, weight that I'm going to have. All I'm going to do now, you won't see me do this, but you'll see it show up on the screen. I'm just going to use my finger on my touch screen and I'm going to write. Love you, Mom. And we're making this look kind of like from a child. So, um, from Crystal. Okay, so you can get in there and you can write that. If you have pens, um, computer pens that you can use to write on your screen, you can do that. If you don't like the way it looks, you grab this eraser and you just click, or you can run over. Uh, if you want to try a thicker one, you want to try the marker, you want to do it red, um, you know, you can come in here and you can do whatever you want. Just draw on your card. So just like that, you can come in and customize anything you want. It can be a pre-made design and you can come in and you can draw on top of it. It can be a card, it can be a photograph, it can be an editable template, anything you want you can come in and fully, fully personalize and make it your own with the draw feature in Canva. All right, guys, that's all I have. We'll see you next time.